thank you for clicking on this video this is me welcome to my channel i have a very quick and simple but very useful tutorial for you today okay i'm going to show you how to convert your midi channels to a pattern region which is the step sequencer and i'm also going to show you how to convert the step sequencer into a midi channel and this really works uh well i've been using it to just go back and forth with editing and you know different things like that so let's get into it so personally because i started in GarageBand and i started with logics you know i've been using logic for a long time i like to create my melodies in the piano roll that's just how i do it with the brush tool it's so easy just to draw it in you set your scale you know to whatever scale i hope you guys already know that you set your scale to whatever scale and then it's just easy just to you know play around and just draw in your melody all right and with the finger tool i'm telling you this because it's gonna all you know tie in together what i'm going to show you in a few all right and the finger tool i can stretch my um you know my notes to whatever and stretch them out stretch them there all right and i like the piano roll because i can do those things okay all right so i made this melody and I'm going to show you how to convert it into a pattern region, which is a step sequencer. So I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go to convert and I'm going to go all the way down to convert to pattern region. So then you get this page. Now, the reason why I start in the piano roll is because I can stretch the notes out to how long I want them and everything like that. I don't have to go, you know, to the tie and, you know, pull it out. And if it's not pulled out, then a note will just be a 16th note or whatever like that. So that's why I prefer to start in the piano roll and um, not in the step sequencer in that way, okay? That's one reason why. But also, let me convert, let me convert my other melody to pattern region. Another reason that I like the step sequencer is because once I get my melody from the piano roll, like once I create it in there, I can only add and edit and just be more creative in the step sequence. That's what I think the step sequencer is for, is to make everything easy. Like I got, I got this little melody. I can do something like, I can just add more notes in between the in between. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can just edit and get more creative. Now, if I go here, I can edit the volume in here. I can go to octave. I can raise the octaves. I can go here. I can go to octave. You can make it something just completely different. So with the options to change, like the velocity, the gating, the tying, starting the loop and in and i mean you got all these options in the step sequencer for your melodies that can make it yours you can also playback mode that's something you can't do in a piano roll you can just get very very creative in the step sequencer you know what i mean and you can also edit the row of the note that's what i really love all right and what i also like in the step sequencer is that you can also save your melodies all right so i'll just Go to save pattern. I want to put melody one or something. If I like that, I can always get back to it. And you can also do that with drums, but you can do that with the melodies too. And I also like how fast you can change the pattern's key. So if I go to the pattern key and I want to change it to F sharp, it automatically changes so fast. In a piano roll, you got to highlight everything. You got to push quantize this is just automatic and that's just a reason to you know i mean a few reasons to change it it's not i'm not trying to go very in depth what i also like about the step sequencer is that you can change the row all right so for melodies a row would be a certain note okay i can change the step rate of just this note all right i can put 64 steps it just gives it a different effect, you know, like Effectrix, like the plugin or Glitch or something like that. You can do all of that. You can do a lot of that stuff in the Step Sequencer if you learn how to work it, okay? Yeah. 
you can get creative with it um play around with it enough all right so now i'm going to show you how to convert so now i'm going to show you how to convert the step sequencer into a midi channel all you have to do is double click it convert to midi region and there you go and if these are drums then the drums will go to their note placements all right thanks for watching